Hi, boys and girls. It's Auntie Carolyn here to tell you a story. Today we're going to talk about the red howler monkey. See these funny little creatures? Look at those faces. They are so funny. They can make more noise. You cannot imagine. I used to live a few miles from Roding Park, and I could hear those howler monkeys in the mornings when it was quiet or in the evenings. The howler monkeys can um, be heard up to two or more miles away. They have such a loud noise. They make so much noise. They sound like a dog and a roar kind of at the same time. They crunch their little faces all up. That's what you see here. Here's one that's howling. This is the one that's howling. And they say it is the loudest land animal that can make the loudest noises. And here's one. Here's one that's walking with the baby. See the babies? The mama has the babies. They have strong tails and strong hands. They keep them safe up in the trees. And when they have a baby, the baby rides around on the mama's tummy for about um, six months to a year. And then after that, the baby can go down and be on the mama's back instead of on the mama's tummy. And here's an odd looking guy. He's just hanging out in the tree looking funny. They are characters. They travel in groups of about 40 and they go around in the daytime and eat vegetation. And they take care of each other in big groups. All the babies ride on the backs and they keep themselves together. But their howl is what they're known for. They have reddish brown fur and when they make those howls, you can hear them everywhere. And I want to know, boys and girls, when you're in church or Sabbath school, do you sometimes sound like a howler monkey? Do you forget to use your inside voice? It's so important for us to use our inside voice when we're in church and Sabbath school. We don't want to be a howler monkey, make all that racket and distract people. We want to be uh, quiet and respectful. And I know there's times when it's okay to holler and yell, and that's out on the playground. Yes, that's a good time to use it. But if you're talking over the top of people and you're just making too much noise, people are going to get annoyed and not want to be around you. So try to remember not to be the howler monkey. Try to remember to be quiet. Make sure what you say is important and not just chatter and that you use your inside voice in church and Sabbath school and in the house. Let's ask Jesus to be with us and help us with the choices we make, that we will make good choices and that we will not use our outside voice inappropriately in church. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the howler monkey. They're fun to watch and listen to and thank you that we get to see pictures of them. Thank you that we know how to use our voice we need to remember when to use our outside voice, when to use our inside voice, not to interrupt people and not to shout over people, Jesus, but just be thoughtful in all we do and say. Keep us in your care. Help us to remember how to be in church. We ask these things in your name. Amen.